So Dr. McGrath, the other day on my YouTube channel, a guy mentioned hair pieces, hair systems, and it, he couldn't afford to get multiple hair transplants. So he had this idea of doing the front of his hairline and his temples right here and getting a hair transplant and then using a hair system in the back. And he was kind of excited about this, this look. And I thought that's actually a bit of an ingenious idea. I'd never heard of that before. Have you ever heard of people doing that? And have you had much experience working with doing hair transplants in combination with hair systems? In a simple answer, yes. Um, I've worked very closely with a, a very reputable company out of Houston. And over the past year and a half, I would say I've really become a bit, bit more of an aficionado in terms of what a good hair system or hair piece, if you will, uh, entails. And we have a lot of patients where they'll come in and they're very good candidates for doing, say, a frontal hairline restoration, or maybe they have so much hair loss that they don't have enough hair to, to cover front to back, but they're great for you know, being able to afford, say, what we can do with a natural hairline restoration, and they're okay with filling it in or using, you know, in the rear part, a hair system or a hair piece, if you will, for that, that remainder of that area. And so the simple answer is yes, we do that. When it comes to any patient that's coming to see me about getting a hair restoration procedure or a hair transplant procedure, I'm always looking at the single uh, most important common denominator, and that is, do they have enough good donor hair? If they have enough good donor hair that I'm able to cover them front to back, even though it may take uh, two procedures, maybe three procedures, but if they have adequate donor hair, I let them know that up front. And then it comes down to the patient. Sometimes there's a patient that they only have a, a certain budget where they can only afford to work in the front, but they could afford to do the front and let the back be covered with a hair system if they don't mind the ongoing maintenance. So that's a, a, a situation where that would work out just fine. And we would almost always recommend doing that where we work in the front with the transplant because it's gonna look the most natural. Generally speaking, when it comes to using hair systems and hair transplant, the only thing that I tell patients is a, a bit of a no-no is if they're in an existing system that covers front to back, and they're coming in because they want to get out of the system and we want to restore them and restore them front to back. They have to be ready mentally to be done with the system because when we do the transplant, we really don't want them taking that system on and off. It affects the growth of the graft. It ends up being a catastrophe. So, but many times we will do say just a restoration in the front and then they continue wearing a hair system in the back and that doesn't affect anything and they can transition the hair and it grows naturally and it works great. It's not unusual that we see it and uh, I again have become much more familiar with the really good systems that are out there and uh, those ones uh, you know are through the, the affiliate that I have in Houston and uh, I can tell you I've seen them up close and they're I mean, it's, it's, it's impossible to tell. So some patients are really good candidates for that. Another situation might be, you know, the, the guy or the gal that comes in and would like to have, you know, a full head of hair, but they just don't have enough good donor hair and they're just not good surgical candidates. And then I'd recommend a hair system or, a, you know, a good quality hair piece. Obviously, people know that requires maintenance. You, know, you have to go in for multiple visits, but some people like the idea that they can get their hair back. And so it is a very reasonable option in the right subset of patients, yes.